That's what vision does for us. Dreams and visions takes us out of our now and it propels us into a future place where it's already happened. We see the finished result and that's how God relates to us. He relates to you in your perfected, fulfilled position in Christ, not in an immaturity. He relates to us as a mature bride because he's not going to date a teenager. So he is waiting for us to put on that maturity and step into the position that we have been called to so that we can access everything that has already been given to us and we have the keys. But sometimes we don't think of creative abilities like who would have thought to use a screwdriver on a locked door? You would think, all right, I need a skeleton key. I need a, some kind of key to get in that lock. And so we are tunnel vision on the way that we solve problems. But God said, if you don't know the answer, ask of me and I will give you wisdom. And he's the multifaceted wisdom. And wisdom is not of this world. And so that dimension of wisdom comes to us to give us every answer that we need. And so when we are praying for healing or miracles to manifest, we have to visualize that person already healed and delivered. We can't visualize them with tubes and suction cups and whatever all they're on, the different machines that they put them on. When you go in, you're going in with your own vision of that person is already healed. Faith draws the answers to our prayers out of the spirit realm that are being incubated there for us. So they're, they're tangible and they've been waiting. It is our prayer life that connects us to the realms of the spirit of God. And every kingdom key that a person possesses gives that person access and ownership to all the different dimensions, to the different mansions, to the different vehicles, to the different whatever's we need you have the key and when we take ownership now we possess the kingdom it says you can't see the kingdom unless you're born again you must be born again to enter the kingdom and to see the kingdom but once we're born again now we're given sight and everything that we see we can be that's the beauty of vision so the covenant of salvation requires that we seek God with diligence. And imagination is a vital key that we have for us to be successful in our prayer life and in our seeing life, in our hearing life, in our speaking life. And a lot of us have been too quiet. When you're in the marketplace and you hear something or someone has a need, you need to present yourself as the answer. You need to invite them to the picnic that they're going to have next week because that's a great time that it's not going to be threatening. Everybody likes to eat. I mean, as Christians, that's probably the only thing we can enjoy still. <laughs> Everything else has been marginalized, but we can still eat. Prayer mimics sleep by placing us in a relaxed, spiritually receptive state so that we can receive the higher thoughts of God and the creative directives, and we can feel the coming and going of the Holy Spirit as he begins to direct us onto the higher path. God's ways and thoughts are always higher, so he's always bringing us into a place of promotion. Prayer requires us to utilize the power of our imagination and focused faith. Faith is the evidence and substance of things that are hoped for. And so the hope of us obtaining is somewhere in the future, but we have to travel there in the realm of the spirit. We have to see it. We have to put on that mantle, step into that mansion. And when we awaken, we have to take that identity with us. Now we have been transformed into that place, into that image, into that level. And we now possess it, and it's part of us. And so as we begin to focus on the end, God is always looking at the end result. We look at the beginning and the process. And we go through cycles and cycles and cycles and we get stuck in it. God is looking for us to look to the end and bring the end to the beginning. 
that's where acceleration takes place. That's where the suddenlies of God take place because we've stepped into the fullness of everything that God has commanded us. And he's commanding blessing over us.